so today we're gonna energize this top of the line American Standard train furnace uh, heat pump so just a little quick rundown this is your this is your exhaust it's a 95 percent furnace variable speed besides geothermal this is like top of the line you can't get any you can't get it more efficient or fancy high end than this this is your fresh air this is your exhaust goes that's the exhaust that's the fresh air three inch pvc you've got the gas line power i just wired i just wired the power junction box this is gonna be uh, an outlet i'm waiting for an outlet to wire that in there take me two minutes we have a humidifier here. I'm gonna cut this pipe out of the way. It's that's not being used that pipe. So, so um, I ran a wire from here to the panel because this this furnace it needs a ground, and the the wires before that didn't have a ground. So I didn't want to wait on the electrician. I was gonna have to wait a couple days for the electrician to come and wire it, so I just ran it when an hour so less less than an hour. So we got that over there, wired in the, the power to here. We did this a few days ago. Trap this is the drain, this is a drain trap for your condensation in the summer. Goes down into here. Then we have the drain for the humidifier here. That goes in here. We installed a new return plenum. Well, it's gonna have a one inch filter. We removed the, um, we removed the old electronic air cleaners because of the pressure drop it was gonna cause on the duct system. It's a long, it's a big return it's a lot of equivalent length and a long supply so there's too much duct too much resistance on the duct plus the eac it wasn't going to work as well so i informed the customer so we did a one inch filter we're going to have a lot better airflow and then we did in here there's turning veins like this scoops that help with the airflow instead of the air hitting the top of the duct and then causing turbulence and then blown across the supply these air scoops help with good airflow it also reduces equivalent length it reduces the restriction so it's all about improving stuff so there you have the furnace that's looking pretty good now i'm just waiting on the 20 seer outdoor unit and we're going to tie this in when we come back with the, with the condenser 20 seer heat pump best of the best let me show you the inside of this basically all the motors are variable speed they all ramp up and down According to the the load, the return, and the outdoor temperature, even the gas valve is modulating. See that? That's the blower motor. It's the ECM motor ramps up and down too. Look 
control board. So you can't even you can't even install this or purchase these this equipment if you're not certified. So they don't want you messing around with it if you don't know what you're doing with it. And even even someone like me still, even though we went through all the training, and I've worked on them all of quite a few times, well, a whole bunch of times, it's still don't know everything, so they're pretty tough. That's your so this is a trap for your condensation. Your flue pipe condenses, and the heat exchanger condenses in there. And it drains down into here, and then it's acidic, so you need this to neutralize the acidity before you go into the drains that's cold too it tears up your your drains if you don't have that over the years um so yeah it's coming along you just have to do the outdoors let me show you the outdoors unit's not there yet but we made the slab little slab little 40 by 40 customer had his patio redone it looks nice they just needed a little power wash yeah it's a nice pool there happens when you work hard you buy your little your nice things so this is the pad the line set we put a new switch in new electrical this is the fresh air we have bird screens so you don't have birds or rodents in there bird screens nice tea this is the exhaust for the furnace and there you have it once we once we put it in place here we'll tie in the refrigeration lines and the electrical for now i have to go program the 1050 control and tell it that we only have a furnace for now and then once we install the heat pump i'm gonna basically tell the control that we have a heat pump and a cooling system and it, what it's going to do is in the in the winter when it's 45 50 degree i got to figure out the balance point basically the balance point is when the outdoor temperature drops to a certain uh, below a certain temperature that's when the balance point is when the heat pump starts to lose capacity and it's not going to be as fishing anymore so i have to figure out what the balance point is pretty sure somewhere in the 45 degrees but anywhere let's say from 45 to like 60 degrees if you want the heat running it'll have the heat pump it'll have the heat pump running the outdoor heat um heat pump the outdoor unit's going to be producing the heat not the not the gas furnace so that's where you get some more efficiency you get the um you get a basically electric heat heating with the compressor the compressor is going to produce the heat with the refrigerant instead of using fossil fuel so then when it gets below 45 degrees or whatever the balance point is maybe even 40 then the gas furnace kicks in on on uh i don't know second stage then below 40 or 45 you have the you have the gas furnace modulating up and down according to the outdoor temperature and the return air temperature or the thermostat senses that but yeah that's what makes it a lot more efficient right now i'm gonna go put the doors back on and then i'm gonna show you the um the control give me a second
These things you can you can uh, control them. You can program them from here. Boy, it's a lot harder. Or you can just go to it. So. see and this thing is cool because it only needs three wires to the thermostat and two wires to the outside because you don't need usually for a heat pump a conventional heat pump system you have you need like eight wires to make it work low voltage but in this case it's communicating so you only need three low voltage wires from the thermostat to here and two from the furnace to the outside it talks to each other it's not a conventional switch low voltage switch switching system It's gonna take a while. 